Melang. I am Jessalyn. Let's dive into what's new in DevTools in Chrome 118. To start with, you can inspect the CSS alias property in the Styles pane. You can learn more details about this syntax in web.dev slash add property. In this example, I created an item size property that accepts a percentage value with a fallback value 40%. Once you open the page with DevTools, you can view the app property declarations in the Styles pane. You can use a property like a CSS variable. You can hover over it to view the computed value and registration details. Moreover, you can modify the item size to 20% and observe the change. Need the size adjusts. What happens if you input an invalid value? The value gets struck true. You can hover over the warning to understand why, or you can hover over the property to see the full details. Next up, you can simulate the new prefers reduce transparency CSS media feature with DevTools. For instance, if the user prefers reduce transparent effects, we will make the element more opaque. Press Ctrl or Command Shift P to open the command menu, and then open the rendering tab. Locate the emulation dropdown and toggle the value to test if the page applies the styles correctly. Additionally, Dev2 have been upgraded with more override enhancements, including the ability to filter overridden requests. Enter the has overrides filter, and you will have the options to filter the list by various options. Additionally, you can include the has overrides column to the list. One common mistake when overriding file content from the sources panel is selecting the incorrect file. For example, if you override the is bigger value in the cup.view file previously, you will realize that your edits don't reflect on the page even after reload. That is because it is not the file the browser reads. As you can see, there is no cup.view file in the network panel either. So where does this file come from? It is a virtual file generated by DevTools using the source map to help you with debugging. The actual file you should be overriding is the JavaScript file indicated in the bottom right corner. Visit this link to learn more about source maps. Right click on the file and select Override Content. DevTools now asks if you want to override the actual file. Click Yes and you can begin editing the JavaScript file. Furthermore, we added a delete option that allows you to delete the folder and its content. Hence, we deprecate the old delete all overrides options as the name and the actions led to some confusion. You can read more about the deprecation in this link. In case you still need it, you can activate it temporarily in the Experiments tab. Remember to tell us why as well. Next, let's discuss a few minor improvements in the Sources panel. If you frequently use the Snippets or Overrides tab, you can rearrange them to appear at the front for quicker access. Have you noticed the new Workspace tab here? In fact, it is not new. Previously, it was called File System. If you want to synchronize your edits in DevTools with local sources, you need to add a folder to set up a workspace. You can either drag and drop a folder or click this link to select one. For more information about Workspace, check out my Dev2 Tips video. Next, DevTools now allows you to evaluate your original variable name across various functionalities, such as the console, conditional breakpoints and lock points, watch expressions, and live expressions. This is currently an experimental feature. You can try it out by going to the settings, experiments, and enable the resolve variable names checkbox. For instance, in this TypeScript, we have a coffee and price variable. However, after you build the file, the coffee variables is minified into n, and the price is now O. Now, let's set a breakpoint and start debugging. You can evaluate the coffee variable in the console, and it will return the coffee name correctly. Previously, the console threw errors. You needed to type the minified name n to get the coffee name. That is no longer the case. This works consistently throughout DevTools. For example, conditional breakpoints, live expressions, pop-up previews, and more. Finally, here is a bonus tip. Use the Quick Source tab to edit a file without leaving the current panel. 
Press Escape to open the bottom drawer. Click on the three dot to open the Quick Source tab. Now, if you right click and overwrite a request, it will not redirect you to the Sources panel. Instead, you can edit it right in the Quick Source tab without leaving the Network panel. This Quick Source tab is designed for you to edit sources within the same context. All right, that's all for now. Find out more information in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Ciao.